I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters, that I have committed sin, sin in, in my thoughts and in my words, words and what, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin. All, all angels and, and saints, saints and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for, to me. Pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbour, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the twenty-first day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord was addressed through the prophet Haggai as follows. You are to speak to Uben the Fell, son of Shiathiel, the high commissioner of Judah, to Joshua son, Jehoshadak, the high priest, and to all the remnant of the people. Say this, who is there left among you that saw this temple in its former glory? And how does it look to you now? Does it seem nothing to you, but take courage now? Zerub the bell, it is the Lord who speaks. Courage, high priest Joshua, son of Jehoshadak. Courage, all you people of the country, it is the Lord who speaks. To work I am with you, it is the Lord of hosts who speaks, and my spirit remains among you. Do not be afraid, for the Lord of hosts says this, A little while now, and I am going to shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations shall flow in. And I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver, mine is the gold. It is the Lord of hosts who speaks. The new glory of this temple is going to surpass the old, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace. It is the Lord of hosts who speaks. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response says, Hope in God, I will praise him still. My Saviour and my God. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O oh God, my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in 
enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope this call holds for us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to our Lord. One day, when Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples, he put this question to them. Who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? It was Peter who spoke up. The Christ of God, he said. But he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone anything about this. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. The response to our prayers of intercession this morning is Lord, show us your loving kindness. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you through your cross and resurrection. You offer freedom and hope to those ready to receive them. Lord, show us your loving kindness. We are all children of the day. Help us to live in the light of your presence. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Guide our thoughts, our words, and our actions, so that what we do today may be pleasing to Lord, show us your loving kindness. Help us to avoid wrongdoing. Show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Through your passion and death, you have won life for us. Give us the strength of your Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your loving kindness. We pray for all who are poorly in mind or body. Praying through the intercession of our Lady of Lourdes, that Christ, the Good Shepherd, may sustain and support all those whose health is a touch vulnerable at this time. Lord, show us your loving kindness. We pray also for all those families, especially those families in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a loved one, that they may be consoled. Lord, show us your loving kindness. We pray too for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims who have died. Lord, show us loving kindness. Finally, we pray for the dead. We remember in a special way this morning Bernard McNally, Tim McGarry, and Mary McCann, all of whose anniversaries occur today. We keep in our prayers those who have died of recent weeks, commending to God's infinite mercy Stella Harbinson. Anne Moore and Veronica McCann and we pray also in a special way this morning for the happy repose of the soul of Philomena Mina Chambers, late of Valley Warren Park, who died on Tuesday of this week and whose requiem mass will be celebrated this morning at 11 o'clock in St John the Baptist Church and our prayers are also requested this morning for the 
had the repose of the soul of Rosa Amaral, who died last night in East Timor. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Let us pray. Lord God, you hold out the light of your word to those who do not know you. Strengthen in our hearts the faith you have given us, so that no trials may quench the fire your spirit has kindled within us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, and good for the good of all the Holy Church. Receive with him, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lord. Thanks, Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God, heaven and heaven earth, 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 Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the Lord. name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Meet holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the 
similar way with the sophomores ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. See what see here of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop, Michael this assistant bishop, Sean our retired bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Patrick, St. Bridget, St. Columba, St. Eta, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him again, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, all of you. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of yours, I was present. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of Lamb God, God, who took away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the world, have mercy on us.
good shepherd says the Lord, I know my sheep and mine know me. O sovereign, most holy, O sovereign, divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sovereign, most holy, O sovereign, divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sovereign, most holy, O sovereign, divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, all my trust in you. Immaculate heart of Mary. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love to see here, ever this day be on my side, to light to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. I invite you to join me in praying the memorari as I have promised to do for a friend's little daughter who is due to be confirmed in County Offaly. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly on to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, simple and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petition. But in your clemency, hear and answer me. Amen. Eternal rest, grant all to them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with and you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.